Hey, everybody, I'm Jamie Scott Okataya of JSA, and this is your monthly news headlines as quick as I can do it. We've got a lot of news to cover. Busy September, so let's get started. Put them a logo over my shoulder if you want to hear the complete story. All right, 365 data centers. Acquisition of Atlantic Metro Communications has positioned 365 to become the largest privately owned and fully hybrid infrastructure as a service provider focused on the Eastern US. This deal transformed 365, a network centric colo operator into a more competitive IIS provider. In Oregon, Edge Connects is deploying AWS Direct Connect 100 gig capability at its Portland Edge Data Center campus. This is to support the growth of high bandwidth workloads and large data volumes in the region. Looking to extend its reach into the Western market in a $38.5 million deal, Nova Data Centers has acquired a new facility in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Nova's focus on the West, no coincidence, the area is currently experiencing a large shift away from coal towards sustainable solar energy. Also, this news comes after Nova celebrated its grand opening of its Utah campus with food, entertainment, art, tours. Very cool. Happened last week. And I love this story too. Nova Data Center's adding robot dogs. Yes, you heard me. Robot dogs to its data center lineup. Apparently, um, it's a great, unique answer to security and maintenance needs, particularly across a very large Utah campus. And talking grand opening, 1623 Farnham's ambitious $40 million edge data center expansion, now complete. They unveiled a larger data center space and upgrades to the facility's electrical infrastructure. The project comes to phase two of an initial 10 million expansion into the building's fifth floor was completed last year. And also talking big money, Prime Data Centers, a wholesale data center developer and operator, is expanding its presence to the thriving Midwest market with a 750,000 plus square foot data center campus. They're investing up to $1 billion to develop a 150 megawatt campus located right in the suburbs of Chicago. Zeo, of course, a leading global provider of fiber-based communication solutions, now announcing the final phase of construction on three new 100% underground high capacity long haul dock fiber routes connecting key markets across the US. The three new routes cover Atlanta to Dallas, Denver to Salt Lake City, and Eugene to Reedsport, Oregon. These new high capacity long haul routes support customers increasing connectivity needs in those regions. And big news out of the APAC region, another going across the world here, going to Big Data Exchange or BDX a globally recognized data center cluster. The company with locations spanning China, Hong Kong, and Singapore has now entered into an agreement with Red Dot Analytics, RDA, to digitally transform its data centers, empowering them to be more sustainable and efficient. Also, BDX has formed a strategic partnership with Novatech to provide customized cloud services and additional bandwidth options within BDX's China and Singapore facilities. And rounding out our BDX headlines this month, BDX, the National University of Singapore's Faculty of Engineering, as well as SEMCOR Marine, have signed an MOU to explore developing groundbreaking ocean data centers in Singapore. This unique partnership aims to establish proof of concept and pave the way for offshore data centers to address land scarcity and energy efficiency challenges. Telsius, talking subsea. Telsius has partnered with technology providers Sienna and Infinera to provide 400 gigs Ethernet service on its transatlantic and LATAM US routes to help meet global demand. UFD, back over in uh, East Coast US, United Fiber and Data, selected by Deutsche Telekom Global Carrier to provide 100 gig optical wavelength services and expand diversity and capacity outside its mid-Atlantic I-95 corridor, that east coast again. We have these fiber route spans northern New Jersey to Ashburn, Virginia. This news comes after UFD announces that Eastlink, as well as another global data center hosting provider, now clients there as well. Connected to Fiber has launched the connectivity industry's very first 
fully automated bid management capability as part of the company's CPQ, Configure Price Quote Solution. The new functionality enables buyers of connectivity within the Connected World platform to automate the sourcing process with suppliers, effectively solving for fallout, special pricing requests, performance requirements, and diversity needs. Well done. And reinforcing Salt Lake City's status as the heart of the Silicon Slopes, Databank breaks ground on its sixth, that's right, sixth Salt Lake Data Center, SLC6, increasing capacity to meet the fast growing demand for mission critical IT infrastructure in Utah. This news comes as the company also announces it is expanding its capacity to SLC5, opening two additional data halls there at its Granite Point North Campus Complex in Bluffdale, Utah. At a time when demand for connectivity across the US has now reached record highs, American Tower offering additional support to its data center business with the launch of its data center channel partner program. Channel partners gain access to the American Tower Metro data center over in Atlanta, as well as its six edge data centers across the country. And answering the call for trusted cloud and IT partnership, KDDI America, of course, the leading ICT solution services provider, just announcing its recognition as a Microsoft Gold Partner for its cloud platform competency. Title represents the highest level of accomplishment within the widely recognized Microsoft Partnership Program. All right, now moving over to biotech news, guys. SkyMount Medical, using research developed at Louisiana State University, has now launched Inhibinol, a dietary supplement formulated with the help of artificial intelligence. And this comes to support the immune system, critical antioxidant functions, and overall cardiovascular health. Good timing as this pandemic continues. Also, Yonalink and Trialjectory just receiving a million dollar grant to develop a platform to enroll diverse patients from various sites in clinical trials by automating the clinical trial value chain. Again, AI. Yonalink's AI-driven clinical trial data management platform adds real-time streaming data to the now improved trial trajectory clinical trial process. What does that mean? It saves clinical trial sponsors more than 30% on cost and months in data management, cleansing, and analysis. And rounding this out with two more great news, Kohler Power, big reason to celebrate. The data center industry's global power partner, Kohler, is now the recipient of the renowned Sustainability Product of the Year Award as part of the Business Intelligence Group's 2021 Sustainability Awards Program. Big news, congrats, Kohler. And also rounding this out, guys, partner into Globix Magazine. We adore them. You know them as the digital infrastructure industry's leading premier global publication our space. They just launched its latest issue. Definitely check out their cover story showcasing data center pioneer Microsoft's Christian Belady, who takes us on a fascinating journey to data centers, cars, and of course, PUV. All right, guys, that's a wrap. These are your monthly news headlines. As fast as I could do it. I'm Jamie Scott Ogadaya of JSA. Thank you guys for tuning in. And as always, happy networking.